Cicadas are arriving, and while they are mostly really just annoying, they can cause some unsightly damage to your plants and trees. This morning, Lou Meyer is joining us here with some simple tasks that homeowners can do to try and keep our plants like this one safe. Lou, thanks for being here with us. Absolutely. Good morning and happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day to you. Thank Cicadas you so are the worst. We've been talking about them. We know they're coming. What they, can they do to trees like this? Sure. So trees like this, we're mostly concerned with the small trees because what cicadas do, the females lay their eggs in the bark of the trees. The females have an ovipositor. It's like a little needle-like thing that um, pierces the branches that are a quarter inch to half an inch thick. So a quarter inch is a pencil. That's a good way to remember it. So branches like these are a quarter inch. And uh, they pierce that and they lay their eggs in those branches, and that's what causes the most damage. So, large. Does it kill the tree? Uh, small trees like this can be killed by it. Large trees like these pairs behind us won't be killed by it. Some of the exterior branches, the smaller branches in the peripheral, they will be damaged, but it won't kill the tree. So, if you'll be able to see that, how long does that damage last then on a tree? Uh, the damage on the larger trees, you'll start seeing that show up uh, in the middle of summer because those branches will, will die back. And then uh, when, those, when the leaves fall off at the end of the uh, fall next year, you won't see them again when they come back. So, so Lou, now that we've scared everyone mm -hmm. uh, about cicadas and hurting our plants, is there anything we can do to stop this from happening? Yes, you can. So if you have small trees like this, you can use netting. Now, I got this. This is a... Uh, product. It's a fabric called Tool, T-U-L-L-E, -L -L -E, I think. It's oh, used. I know Tool. Okay, so it's Tool. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Uh, my daughter wears a lot of Tool in her dresses. Wonderful. I have a two-year-old daughter, Maggie, yeah. and I'm sure she'll be doing that soon, too. So for a small tree like this, you could just wrap it in Tool, right, and then take a, uh, take a zip tie yeah. and zip it around the, um, zip it around the bark, or the bark, the trunk down below where the uh, branches are. So, Lou, let me ask you this. How long would we have to keep this on? Is there a certain time of day yeah. or, you know, a it, time of year that we would need to, to keep them wrapped? So you'll be doing, you'll be putting this on in a few weeks when the cicadas start um, flying. And then the, uh, you have to keep it on until they leave. So about right. two months. Now, what you want is something like this where the, uh, the light can pass through so the tree can photosynthesize. Sure. But those, those holes have to be really small, about an eighth of an inch or, or, or smaller so that the uh, cicadas can't get in to, to lay their eggs. And most importantly, again, for, for the small branches, the small trees, the newly planted ones, Lou, thank you. Some helpful information, and hopefully this will help protect some of your plants out there.